Yo. What, bro? What's up, bro? What you mean, what's up, bro? Why you sound so mad, bro? What you mean, why am I mad, bro? <laughs> why you sound so mad, bro? I gotta pause this video every five seconds. <laughs> what do you want? You know I'm recording another video? Fuck you, too. <laughs> you can finish this video. I'm about to record it. You can finish it tonight. Oh, so I gotta fucking do another one? It's my mom's birthday. Happy birthday, bro. How old is your mom? Um, I think she's about to turn like 39. Damn! <laughs> Dude, that's not even old. Why you always giving me that dirty face, nigga? Like, this KFC chicken good as shit. <laughs> oh, 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 big anaconda, kind of whole lot of, keep me some cash, cool on my title. What's going on YouTube? Now I'm here and I'm back with another banger video and as y'all see in the title and the thumbnail you feel me today I'm gonna be telling y'all what I have learned from starting my clothing brand from scratch at 15 years old As y'all know last August I started my clothing brand and it literally like blew up You know what I'm saying? I started from 15 started from scratch and people have been wondering Oh, how'd you do that? How'd you do that? So today I'm gonna be telling y'all exactly what I learned so y'all don't have to go through the struggles Like I did myself because bro There was a lot of stuff that I learned to make like my brand what it is now because literally that's all it's about what you do with the information that you learn from each drop and stuff whenever you do bad on a drop you just take what you learn from that and you just apply it into the next drop so the drop could be literally amazing you know what i'm saying so that's what i'm gonna be telling y'all today i'm gonna be giving y'all all the saws exact everything that i learned and yeah let me just know how y'all life been going in the comments you know what I'm saying? earlier today i was taking pictures of this hoodie the hoodie is so tough y'all can go cop is in a link in a bio but and let me get a little fit check let me you know what i'm saying Hold on. give me give me a little as a shirt we got a little i heart my spider's teeth the pants we got some nice Nice little Jordan pants, bro. I ain't even gonna cack for the feet. We got some nice little crocs. So, yeah, that's what's on the calm feet today. I ain't gonna lie. I did cop some more plushy stuff because I really like this. Like, I ain't gonna lie. This ball is literally, like, the best. Y'all gotta go cop this. I ain't even gonna lie. I got some little stuff just to make it, like, a little pop more because as y'all can see, I like to decorate my room. I be, like, acting like it's, like, my own little apartment. I ain't even gonna cap. As y'all seen, the shorts. We got the shorts here. The fit today was nice and, like, calm. I had these shorts shorts on with this tee and i had on my threes so as i can see like a little calm little fit i've been buying from clothing brand owners that i've been seeing if you guys want me to check out your brand comment your brand down below i recently just copped this from a clothing brand i think his name is outsiders but i ain't gonna lie the packaging is great i know i got my own clothing brand but i'm starting to wear everybody else though because yeah you want i want to show love to the peoples so if you guys want me to try on your clothing brands just comment down below your clothing brand and i'm gonna I'm you know what i'm saying see if i could cop just for y'all if y'all order i got three larges extra large and I got Mac extra small. So if y'all want any of these, these ship it next day. So if y'all wanna go cop, go cop those. And let's get straight into this video. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't even gonna wait no more. Let's get straight into this video. I ain't gonna cop with y'all, bruh. This retwist looking mighty fine. If I know y'all see that in it. Yeah, the sun is beaming right now, and I ain't gonna lie, it's kinda hot. It's 90 degrees today, bro. With this video, what have I learned from starting Chloe Brand at age of 15 years old? First, before you get into this, make sure y'all all hit that like button and subscribe. I wanna keep getting hit with the free sauce. Every single video, I'm dropping free sauce for y'all, so y'all don't wanna miss it. Let's get further ado. What have I learned at the Chloe Brand at age of 15? For the first thing is what I learned from marketing. I ain't gonna lie. Marketing on TikTok was like the hardest thing for me because like i ain't never do it before i really ain't know what type of direction to go in because i'm obviously like bro i ain't do this before it was my first time doing like anything in the clothing brand industry because i was like a graphic designer so like what do i know how to make tiktoks and stuff and i ain't gonna lie bro for all my people that used to play 2k bro i was a big 2k 20 nerd bro i ain't gonna lie i used to play 2k every single day i was a 2k graphic designer bro if y'all ain't know that i was like bro how i'm finna start doing all of this when i'm just a kid that used to play 2k all day people would I be saying post like two to three times a day when I was first starting I used to say oh post two to three times a day you always want to post a lot but I learned that like now posting every single day or posting like five times a day isn't really like good because I ain't gonna lie it low-key shadow banned my account multiple times I ain't gonna lie I'm not telling y'all like it might not happen y'all but for me posting like four to five times and it was good quality videos you know what I'm it's like if I would post every single day like a lot of times every single day then like nobody would view it because like I don't know if I just had no followers 
just that might just be it. But because even if I was to post like three times now, my stuff would not like reach anybody because I I don't know why the algorithm is like that. But it's like weird because you don't want to post too much, but you don't want to not post at all. I ain't even gonna lie. Every time I would not post for like two to three days, then it will go crazy. Like I would not get no views. But every time I post it like five times a day, I would not get no views at all. So you kind of low key just gotta not try to spam your TikTok account because if you spam, they not gonna push everything out. They're not gonna push what you need out. What I realized, Instagram ads is like literally the sauce, like the wave. I'm not even gonna lie, bro. TikTok and Instagram ads, that's what I learned, bro. Once you learn Instagram ads, bro, I'm telling you, you locked in, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I've been putting people on too, bro. Let me get a little, little promo. I ain't gonna lie. People been buying my $25 Instagram ad course. It's two pages. So it just tells you how to run Instagram ads and how I ran my Instagram ads because I got like 50K reach in like a week. DM my Instagram if y'all wanna know my Instagram ad course. So if y'all want that, it's $25. I've been giving it to a lot of clothing brand owners as well. Instagram ads is literally sauce. I can't tell y'all nothing about that because y'all can go cop the course if y'all want. Y'all literally need to get on Instagram ads, bro. When someone be like, how do I grow my clothing brand? And I see that they not on Instagram ads. I'm like, bro, what are you doing? DM me on Instagram to cop my Instagram ad source link in the bio, bro. I'm telling you, I'm giving it out to everybody. $25. Come cash ready. Like, you're not cash ready now. Like, why you want to waste our time? You feel me? Another thing that I've also learned from marketing was that you need to post products. Like, you need to post your product. I wouldn't post just a mock up. I'm not even going to lie. Instagram and TikTok, like, your customers, like, will cop it more if it's a product. If you, the actual product, right? Get your product, bro. I'm telling you, like, you right here, bro. Get your sample and show your product bro because y'all see the colors and stuff y'all see that i know y'all see the quality i know y'all see that good print you're not gonna be able to show your customers that over a picture bro you can't show your customers this off a of mock-up bro people that are just now starting out bro it will help you out in the long run bro get samples and show the actual product bro you don't want to be showing a picture you could show a picture for like before you get your sample but make sure you when you're actually promoting for your drop you get the in-hand sample bro in-hand sample so you can show off that quality i'm telling you y'all can see this quality the puff print is nice bro that's why you want it in hand you can't show the puff print off a tech pack that's why you want to get that product in hand so you can take nice little pictures and you can show the woven tag you get all of that that's why you want to have it in hand bro get your product in hand that is one thing i have learned bro because i didn't have enough money for the samples bro and i wasn't promoting off the samples i was just promoting off of the mock-ups bro my sales was not going every time that i took pictures of my product the sales was going up because they actually see it you know what i'm saying like if you seen this this nice bag hold on i'm gonna show you a little example while it's in the bag y'all want to see the like it's in the bag this is a horrible example but i'm telling y'all you, you want to show your customers this bro i'm telling you if you was to see this versus a tech pack what would you rather pick a tech pack or this you're obviously picking this because you can see it and you know that day is not capping because who's copping off the tech pack but i'm telling you it's way better get the actual product in hand bro don't be like oh no i want to promote the tech pack no no don't promote the tech pack promote the product you should be showing this to your customers bro that's what makes your customers want to cop i'm just saying it's free so you got to think of it as like you're the customer, bro. That's what I've learned because I used to think of it like, oh, I'm buying this but because I know what the quality is. You know what I'm saying? But your customer doesn't know what the quality is. That's why you got to tell them what the quality is. You got to show them what it looks like in person. People buy because of the colors. Like if the colors is nice, people's going to cop. I know y'all like this color. I know y'all like this color, bro. Let me, like I'm telling you. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I just got some water, bro. I ain't gonna lie. It's hot, bro. Stay hydrated, bro. I'm talking to you, bro. Stay hydrated. Go get you a water bottle right now. All right, so boom. The next thing is what I have learned from manufacturers, bro. Manufacturers, bro, I ain't even gonna lie. That's like a big subject because manufacturers, like the people that's gonna be making your stuff, you don't wanna make no mistakes. So let me put y'all on real quick, bro. Manufacturing, when you're getting your hoodies, bro, do not do it yourself. I promise you, save the time. Do not get yourself a Cricut machine. Do not do the print and press. Do not do any of that, bro. I'm telling y'all. Do not do it, bro. Y'all don't want y'all first few months to be bad and then, like, y'all get good. Like, I promise you, even if you don't have no money, save up the money to get an actual sample from a manufacturer, bro. Because it saves you so much time to do, like, everything. Because the manufacturer is just 10 times better, bro. And because for when I started, I had mad customer complaints. I had mad chargeback because the quality was bad from the hoodie. So that's why you want to get a manufacturer, you know what I'm saying? The quality, you're going to have a lot of chargebacks. You're probably not going to have the money to actually get the chargeback. So give them back the money because your puff print is cracking, your puff print 
and appealing. Like, that's what I'm saying. Just don't do it, bro. I learned it the hard way, bro. And also, you just don't want to be looked at as your brand is a cheap brand. If you come off as like your brand is cheap, then nobody gonna want to cop from you. Because obviously, if you making cheap stuff, if you getting the guild in, if you print and pressing, then nobody's gonna want to buy because they see all you doing at the cheap route. They want to get like the high end stuff. They want to get the good quality from an actual manufacturer. Like, that's what people want to buy nowadays. Back then, when clothing brands was just starting up, before it was like a hot trend, people would cop from anything. But now they want the high quality stuff, custom tags. They want everything. They want everything on their hoodies or they just won't shop with you. So that's why you just don't get a cricket machine, get a manufacturer. If you don't have the money, try to find a hustle, side hustle, because that's what I did if I did it. Because that's the one thing I learned. I regret using a cricket machine when I first started because I ain't gonna lie, it was bad quality, bro. And it just put a bad image on my name completely because I was, oh, his hey, hoodies are bad quality. No, I'm not going to buy from that. So people were seeing that it was bad quality. The reviews, it was peeling. Everything was bad quality. That's why I regret using it so much. So I would say get you a manufacturer that actually does it because once I got my manufacturer, everything was skyrocket because of the quality, bro. People buy off the quality. I'm telling y'all, quality is key, bro. And another thing about what what I learned. I'm not even gonna lie, bro. Finding a manufacturer was hard, bro. It was very hard because I, I was on a budget. I had no money. But I found this one manufacturer from Instagram. I got a manufacturer from Instagram. And I stuck with bro since. And that's my guy. I didn't want to cap. You just gotta find that one good manufacturer, bro. You're gonna go through trials. I personally only had one manufacturer. I never tried out any other manufacturer. Not everybody's gonna have like the first one is gonna be the best one. I might get a new one, but I might not. I gotta see still soon because I wonder because there's always better quality out there. If y'all want my manufacturer, comment down below. If y'all want my manufacturer, DM me on Instagram. I'll give y'all my manufacturer, but y'all also gotta pay as well. It comes with a little fee. But some is gonna be better for some things. You just gotta keep looking. You gotta look on Instagram and Alibaba. I made a video on how to find manufacturers as well. Let me know if y'all want me to make an updated one. Yeah, like y'all just gotta know that y'all not gonna get it right the first time. Even though I got it, y'all could just pay for a manufacturer. Like I said, y'all could pay for mine. If y'all want mine, I'll give it to y'all. You could pay for somebody's clothing man manufacturer or you could find one yourself if you want to just save the money but i suggest you just pay for someone if you're scared of getting scammed i would suggest like getting a clothing brand's manufacturer but if you searching i would say go on alibaba instagram if something is too good to be true like you can ask a clothing brand out oh is this too good to be true and they'll, they'll let you know if they if they not hollywood they'll let you know you know what i'm saying don't cop it if it's five hoodies for like twenty dollars that's obviously a scam bro like just use your common sense if you think of it as a scam don't work with them don't shop with them so yeah literally just try to not get scammed i ain't gonna lie yeah that was it for the manufacturers bro because i have my one and done manufacturer i only learned off of one and i would say for manufacturers learn the terminology make sure y'all are both on the same page we double check with your manufacturer a lot because they are from overseas they might not understand english just double check with them because it is your hoodie at the end of the day you want them to make the best of your product so double check i would say just tell them to update you get a manufacturer that will update you and yeah just keep asking for updates bro you the one paying them bro like you should be getting updates if you paying them get your update bro i ain't even gonna cap all right so that's what i learned from manufacturers i ain't even gonna cap now let's get into the shipping let's get into the packing board you want to get your hoodies you got your hoodies you got your boat what have i learned from packing bro and packing bro let me just make it simple and easy for y'all bro make sure you're organized before you pack bro don't go through the orders i learned it the hard way bro when i first got my like first 200 orders i did not organize them first like i literally just left them down all right here for me to just pick up and pack don't do that i'm telling you bro it might look tempted to jump all that bro but i'm gonna save you the time bro make sure you have them organized first bro please organize them so you don't be sitting in your room for hours unless you want to do that you could do that so i'm just saying to make it easier for y'all make sure to organize them first bro. don't take the hoodies out of the box unless you know what's in the hoodies which box is which what i personally do i have my six boxes right here i personally i open each box i was like okay there's a majority of the blue small so what i do is i go on a pirate ship video y'all gonna see the video the video before this is a pirate ship video y'all gonna see all of that so go click that video right now if y'all want to learn more into shipping best ways how to ship the fastest way to ship if y'all want to meet to get more in depth that video is literally down below in the link in the description right now so yeah also that in the link in the description right now so i'm not even gonna cap bro like what you want to do go on the pirate ship and then you want to organize so let's say you got the purple small or the blue small right here and all in one box i'm gonna leave those boxes to the side i'm gonna pack this box right here that's what i personally do i do one box at a time these are blue small oh i'm going shopify i'm gonna get all the orders that are blue small and that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna ship it pack it up and what i do is i take it from the box and then after i take it from the box i will put the shipping label back in the box so after i take it ship it i put it in the white bag once i put it in the white bag i take the hoodie out of the box pack it up 
and I put the hoodie back into the box with the bag. And that's what I do. I literally just take it, put it back, take it, put it back, take it, put it back. That's like the fastest way I know how to do it because I'm a one man army. Me and my sister, we be in here. You know what I'm saying? We be packing the orders and stuff. That's what I personally do to get it more like timely manner. And then once I see the box is full with the white packages, I bring them and I go ship them out to the post office. Like literally, it's that easy. It's fast and easy. If y'all want a more depth video, it's down below. I just uploaded a video like that. Y'all just gonna have to watch the video down below. I ain't even gonna cap because I went in depth with that a lot on how to package orders and how to ship out orders. So if y'all wanna go see that, link in the description. I ain't even gonna lie if y'all wanna get more in depth. Customer service, bro. What I learned from customer service, bro, always get custom, bro. Have good customer service, bro. Because when I first started out, I wasn't very worried about it because I'm like, bro, I'm a small clothing brand owner. Nobody's gonna really care because they know I'm a small clothing brand owner. You're gonna expect at least, bro. No, 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 no. No, bro. That is not it at all, bro. Customer service. You want to have good customer service from when you start. I personally, I had good customer service, but like I wasn't really focused on it. Have good customer service. You always want to have good customer service, no matter if you're low, no matter anything. Customer service is the best because I'm like, I have, bro, there's multiple people that have copped every single drop, bro. There are people I know. I be sending them free hoodies as well. They cop every single drop, bro. I'm telling you, every single drop they copped from the beginning. The first drop they copped, second drop. So I be rewarding them, you know what I'm saying? I be giving them free carry packages. Just give them good customer service. You could do that by, you know what I'm saying, fence and hosting giveaways. You want to get keep them updated, you know what I'm saying? You don't just want to ghost your customers. You want to talk to your customers. I be talking to my customers. Like, if they DM me, ask me a question, I got y'all, bro. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I'm going to hit y'all up because some of my customers are brand owners as well. So, I be hitting them up. They be hitting me up. Once you get good customer service and good packaging as well. Packaging, you want to have great packaging. Get you some custom bags like this. Don't make it look like mine, but get you some custom bags. I see this right here. It just looks tough. I ain't even going to cut. Put your hoodie, get you a little zip bag but those are just some little extra stuff i got more sales once my like packaging got way better it comes in a custom bag comes with this little statement logo in the back the instagram so like it's just a little thing to add on to your customer's experience about the packaging i ain't even gonna cap unfortunately that is the end of the video but i ain't gonna lie bro should I like one? A new video will probably come in this week. I ain't even gonna lie. I'm gonna start trying to post because I am getting out of school in like three weeks, bro. Finally, bro. School is almost over. As y'all know, bro, I'm still a sophomore. I'm going to junior year, bro. Yes, I'm young, bro. I'm young, bro. So yeah, that is literally it. I'm gonna try to post more over the summer because I'm not gonna be in school. So I'm gonna try to post almost every single day, bro. I ain't gonna lie. The grind gonna be crazy. Post every single day. So hit that like button and subscribe. Literally turn on post notifications to y'all if y'all wanna be. Stay tuned for that i hope y'all doing good because i'm doing good love all y'all brian glad i'm on the road to 3,000 subscribers we just hit 2.7k hit that like button subscribe 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 yeah that's nice that's it for the video and i'm out i'm balling like hey i'm asking the question but no 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 i do not know none of the